All right, I started on this uh, table this past weekend uh, over Memorial Day weekend. It's uh, going to be a fish tank table. It's going to hold a very, very heavy fish tank. Uh, this thing measures 60 inches long, and we're at 21 deep from front to back and 28 inches tall. Um, the top, I'm putting polyclearic over the top um, right now. I'm going to put about five coats on it to make sure it's well protected from any moisture or dampness that comes from the fish tank or even spilled water or whatever. Um, polyclearic will protect that thing, like just like uh, when you put the rain coating over a windshield, how it bubbles up, it'll... It what does it affect? I mean, it doesn't leave it stained or anything. That's what polyclerk will do. Um, I got slats on the bottom. Of course, the bottom is painted white. Top's Jacob Bean stain. I got. Uh, I didn't use four by four posts, but instead, what I did was I did the next best thing. I didn't want to use four by fours because it looked really bulky then. So what I did was I trimmed down two by four by eights, or trimmed down two by fours and then cut them to length. But um. Then I patched them together, screwed them together. Can't see the screw holes because of I've sealed them up with uh, putty and then sanded it real good. But I, instead of using, um, like I said, instead of using the four by fours, I just used two by fours, put them together, made it close to a four by four, but just a little bit thinner. And that keeps it from being so bulky. So I made six of the legs just like that. Um, got a couple holes to hit the bottom. I got a patch, but um, it's got two coats of paint on it right now. Um, I made these little trim pieces at the top on each one of the columns, give it a little bit of a decorative look, just a little bit. I mean, going down the sides of the ends here to cover up the, where the two boards met right there. Um, and the top, I got it routed. I used a round over bit on my router and, um, went all the way around with it, made it a smooth cut around. And then, like I said, uh, these are, uh, two by two by eights. On the top, I've got three of them. Um, pretty much covered the whole top. I had to trim down. I had to uh, cut down one of them just a little bit narrow, but narrower than two by eight. But these are two by eights. They've been stained with polyclearic. I mean, with uh, Jacob Bean stain, and now I'm doing the poly on it. So um, it's, today is Wednesday that I'm filming this, and I'll probably be ready for pickup by the customer this weekend. Uh, reason why I say this weekend is because I'm going to put several coats of poly on the top. Um, and then I'm going to have plenty of time to dry before he pick, gets picked up. But, um, after each coat of poly, you have to sand it with a 120 grit sandpaper to get some of the grit off that raises up out of the wood. Uh, I do that the first three, three poly coats I'll sand after, and then the, the last two poly coats I won't sand. So to leave it a shiny look, um, make it a little more shinier and things for the customer. But anyway, project almost completed.